I've shown you how to easily use your do-it-yourself graduated cylinder to measure the volume of household liquids you can find at home. Alright, hi guys! So today I'm going to show you how we use our do-it-yourself graduated cylinder. So recall in the last video that we showed you, we showed the steps of how to make this one. Actually, I was able to make one out of this empty ink bottle, the ink used for printers. And uh, I just followed the steps that we had that was shown in the last video. So here it is. Okay? If you would look closely at my do-it-yourself radway cylinder, okay? I have here divisions of 5, 10, 20, 30. Or actually, each division is about 2.5 milliliters. Video, I also covered it with scotch tape so that it's protected from water. So we'll be using, we'll be measuring several kinds of liquids. We'll be measuring several liquids found at home. So it's best that our markings here are, uh, are protected. So it won't be get, uh, your, your ink won't get Lodged up, your ink won't spread because of the liquids. Alright, let's go! Um, first, I'd like to explain how to use your graduated cylinder by using water, okay? So first, um, let's say we would like to measure 40 milliliters of water, okay? So, gently pour enough water inside your graduated cylinder. I think it's better if you have a funnel for this one. So you, you we minimize spillages um, outside your cylinder. So now, okay, take a look here. Okay, first thing that we need to do is that when we measure, when we read our graduated cylinder, is that the level of the liquid should be at the level of your eyes. So when you read it, okay, the level of the water should be level with your eyes. It's either you. Bring up your graduated cylinder so that your eyes are perfectly aligned, perfectly aligned with the water level. Or if you can't do that one, maybe you just put it down on the table and you be the one to go down to the level of the water, like this. So see? This is the second option. You put down your graduated cylinder in any level surface and you go down so that your eyes are now leveled with the level of the water all right okay. if we see here okay look at the surface of the word water um if you look closely if you look close at the surface of the water it seems that there's another surface which is curving downwards above the actual level of the water that curved surface is what we call the meniscus Again, it's what we call the meniscus, okay? You'll be discussing the meniscus maybe in higher grade levels, maybe in grade 6 or 7. Why does water have a meniscus? Okay, but for our purposes, to measure the volume of water, is okay, we actually read the meniscus and not the level of the water which you could see here at the top. So in my graduated cylinder, okay, it's kind of wobbly, but it's roughly about 40 milliliters of water so in this graduated cylinder i have here about 40 milliliters of water
again, the two things that we should remember whenever we measure the volume of any liquid using your gravity cylinder is that first, we always measure the level at eye level, the surface of the liquid at eye level. And second, we look for the meniscus. For water and for most liquids found at home, the meniscus is curving downwards. Alright? Bye!